Hello everyone and welcome to KJV Review. Tonight I have a special treat for you. I'll be reviewing a Thompson Chain large print wide margin Bible. And yes, this is a big Bible. Two inches thick, eight and a half inches wide, 11 inches tall, standard size printer paper. It's the exact same size. Look at this, it barely fits in the frame. But this Bible, this is my dad right here, but huge. Got one ribbon marker. I mean, this thing is a beast. It is so big. I'm having trouble getting it in here. But you can see it's bonded leather. You can see wide margin edition, Thompson chain. So big, I've got to scroll it through the frame here. If I can get it to focus, I'm sorry. But we all know about Thompson chains. There's nine cardstock pages in the front, and then it goes right into the title page. And of course, you see here, you can see right here, oh, this thing's heavy. Right here, it tells you first printing, wide margin. I think it's the first and only 1988. This thing is so huge. So if you look here, my hand is eight inches, and this thing is massive. So you can see that there's margin all the way around this thing. I'm gonna try to zoom in here so you can see. In the gutter right here, there is a full inch and a quarter, inch and a half there. What's inch and a quarter, and inch and a half in the gutter, the top is going to be inch and a quarter, sides inch and a quarter, and bottom is an inch and a half. So there's lots of room on the side here. I mean, you can see, set your ruler over here, got plenty of room there. But there's 18 blank note pages in the back after the maps, they're actually labeled notes. And this thing is very rare. It's hard to come across these. The only thing about this particular one is I marked it here. In the book of Acts, there is some speckling. You see these speckles? It looks like ink has splattered over. I'm struggling with this thing. But it's just these two pages. It's kind of weird. But anyways, this Bible is huge. Here's the Spurgeon thing I did. I mean, it's as big as the text block. And then you got the margin all the way around. This is the morning and evening devotional. But this thing is massive. And one of the good things that everybody knows about the Thompson is that all the wonderful helps in the back. For example, here's the Bible on the left and the helps right there in the back. That's how much you get. All kinds of helps. And this is a red letter. You can see some red right here in the book of Acts. Let's turn over here to the gospel so you can see the red. Thompson has a very particular type of red that they use. You can see it there. It's kind of light pinkish hue. I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty good. Stands out good, but you can see the vast amount of area for note. This Bible, even for me, I like big Bibles. Carrying this thing around, no thanks. This thing is heavy. This thing weighs three or four pounds, easy. But the last time I saw one of these for sale, it was on Amazon for about $500, and that's insane. So people take advantage of you know, something try to make some money off of the Bible. I mean, my goodness, $500 is ridiculous. But you can see how big this thing is. I mean, this thing is two inches thick. It is massive. So this has been my review of the Thompson chain, large print, wide margin. I can't even fit this thing in the, the dadgum frame. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless you.